वेलकम बैक एवरीवन वेलकम बैक कोडिंग विथ शियाब वी ऑलरेडी फिनिश थ्री लेसन्स फ्रॉम कोडेलिटी फॉर प्रोग्रामर्स नाउ यू विल स्टार्ट लेसन फोर काउंटिंग एलिमेंट्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग नाउ एट फर्स्ट आई थिंक वी हैव टू चेक द डॉक्यूमेंटेशन रीडिंग द मेटेरियल्स इन दिस मेटेरियल्स यू विल गेट सम इन्फॉर्मेशन how actually counting elements is working and uh, they give some example they show some graphical things how it's uh, normally counting and they also implemented some code using python and this is the python code and also time complexity big o n plus m when you will read it you will know at least something you will get some general idea about it i will give the link and you will get this documentation and you can check the problems and you can practice let's go a start problem and there is four problem today we will start lesson 4 counting elements and our first task is frog river one so let's start we have two hours to complete this task start the test before we start coding we should write the problem what we have to do a, a small frog want to get to the other side of a river the frog is initially located on one bank of the river position 0 okay we will read one line and we will write one line code according to the information then i think it will be more clear and it will be more understandable the frog is initially located on one bank of the river okay current position is 0 and want to get to the opposite bank that means in the other side position x plus 1 leaves then and want to get okay that means its future then then destination position we will get this position from array that's why we should take another array for this destination position and and we define the destination array because it's written and want to get to the position bank position x plus 1 i did exactly same thing now we will use for loop leaves fall from a tree onto the surface of the river you are given an array a consists of n integers representing the falling leaves a k represents the position where one leaf falls at time k measured in seconds the goal is to find the earliest time when the frog can jump to the other side of the river so now we have to use for loop we are initializing zero length we define our old array inside the for loop and this for loop will checking all the elements inside the array 
now we will check condition with our destination then and then it will be less chance to be a wrong we are checking if new array and old array new array values in uh, old array values inside the new array or destination array equal to 0 if it's equal to 0 then what will happen our new array equal to old array like this after that now i should then i should increase the current position because now frog will go one step more so we should count it later now we will check using another if statement if current position equal to oh, sorry if current position equal to our targeted value here x means is targeted value where leaf will fall down the goal is to find the earliest time when the frog can jump to the other side of the river the frog can cross only when leaves appear at every position that means when leaves will fall then frog can cross otherwise it's not possible across the river from 1 to x this is we want to find the earliest moment when all the position from 1 to x are covered by leaves you may assume that the speed of the current in the river is negligibly small the leaves do not change their position once they fall in the river for an example this is the example in second six a leaf fall into position five this is the earliest time when leaves appear in every position across the river mm, right here function that given a non-empty array a consists of n integers and integer x so if current position equal to x that means if current position equal to our targeted position then we will get we will return index numbers if we will not get our targeted position inside the array then it will return minus one if the frog is never able to jump to the other side of the river the function should return minus one so we did exactly same thing minus one now try to run is it working or not yeah it's work properly let's go recap again what we did we define one method and it will return integer value and the method name is function uh, sorry solution and we take one targeted value variable 
data type is int and we take another int variable and its array that's why it's like this mm -hmm. and we define variable name is a after that at first we took one variable data type int according to our problem our current position we take first variable is current position equal to zero according to the problem statement and we take another array for destination position destination position is variable name and our target is go to the x plus one position that's why we define like this way after that we use for loop inside the for loop we define all old array values element inside this array after that we compare our destination position with our array values equal to zero if it's zero then it will be destination position equal to old array that means old array elements will be assigned inside our new arrays which name is destination position when it will occur then we should increase the our current position then our position will be changed then it will not in this moment it will not zero it will be increasing by one later we use another for another if statement to check our current position if current position equal to our targeted position then we have to return our index number in which index number is our position and in which index is contain our value if we will not get this element inside our old array then it will return minus one so i hope it's clear now let's go to submit Our code is perfect from all consequences that's why test score is 100 correctness is 100 performance is 100 and this is our code what we did it's just explaining and with example test it's working properly correctness from those consequences everything is working properly and performance test or large random it will work it's working properly medium range it's also working properly medium random large for mutation large range from all the consequences it's working properly that's why we receive 100 so guys thank you very much see you in our next problem until take care bye bye follow my channel subscribe my channel and for getting my update video notification please click the bell icon and stay with me take care bye